Hi, my name is Arthur Bradford, and this here is a video for you to help you make a great video of yourself recording your slam poem for Virtual Landia. Um, I am a writer here in Portland. I'm also a filmmaker. I've written three books. Here's two of them. Here's the third one. Um, and uh, the films I've made are mostly documentaries. I've also done some music videos and other things. Um, I did this documentary about making an episode of South Park called The Six Days to Air, and I'm currently making a multi-part film about the next film that those South Park guys are making. Um, here's a picture of me as a South Park character. That's me with the Portland Trailblazers jersey on because I, uh, I also write about the Portland Trailblazers here in Portland. Okay, so the idea now is that you should have written your poem and now you're ready to record it and get it out into the world. Um, I don't want you to worry about editing or anything like that. This is going to be one take, um, so it's, it's a nice, simple presentation. And I'm guessing that most of you have some experience with recording yourself on video. You probably posted videos on social media or recorded videos with your friends. And maybe you think you don't even need any advice on how to do it. And you probably don't need a lot of advice, but I just want to say there are some tips that you can use to make your videos better. It's actually harder than you think to record a good selfie video. You've probably seen them uh, on social media. Sometimes you get distracted by like the person's got a big messy room behind them or the sound is weird or the framing is off. And I want uh, your video to stand out because the poetry is awesome and amazing. I don't want it to stand out because... Uh, it looks different than everybody else's and the sound is weird and you can't concentrate on the on the what what we want to concentrate on which is the poetry so with that in mind um, we're going to I'm going to give you some tips to how to make your videos better and then I'm also going to show you some examples of uh, of slam poetry that I found online and that is recorded by the people who did it okay the first thing you are going to want to do is figure out what are you going to record your your video on uh, I'm guessing most of you are going to use your phones, and that's great. Those are those are great devices for recording video. Um, you do have other options, and I want to let you know whatever you use, that'll work. Um, you can use your laptop. Um, this is I've got a, a a MacBook right here that's recording video. Um, you could use a Chromebook to record video. Um, I wanted to show you that I have this set up for my iPhone that has a microphone and a stand. Um, that makes it really easy to record uh, selfie videos like this. Uh, if you have a friend who can, who can record for you and you feel comfortable doing your poem in front of them, that's great. But it doesn't matter what equipment you use, it really matters more about the choices you make when you're recording the video, which I'm going to go over now. All right, number one, framing your shot. This is, this is the first and probably most important piece of direction I'm going to give you. Um, these videos need to be shot horizontally, meaning if you're shooting with a phone, that you shoot with it sideways, not vertically, okay? Now, I understand that when you're shooting on TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram, shooting vertically works. But for these videos, because they're going to be in an online collection and the way that they're going to be set, they need to be horizontal or sideways. This is a conversation that I'm always having with my daughters because they like to use their phones to shoot it vertically. And I understand that um, that is the easier way. A lot of people watch things vertically on their phones. But if you do that, you're limiting yourself in what can be done with that video in the future. It means that it's always going to be, it's going to, if you post it online on a place like YouTube or it gets broadcast on TV, you're going to have those weird black boxes like this on either side. And you've only given yourself just like, just a little sliver of a video as opposed to this wide screen that you can have. And just as an aesthetic look, things look better in general when they're posted, uh, horizontally. So please consider um, making your videos horizontally. The next thing I'll say about framing is try to try to frame yourself um, probably like this, chest to head, okay? Don't give yourself a whole bunch of headroom. A common mistake when someone frames a shot is that they put their head in the middle of the shot like this, but then you've got all this extra space on top of your head that looks kind of weird. So 
put the the top of the frame right on right close to the top of your head that's that's proper framing of a shot okay um, I think that when you're doing a slam poem most of the time slam poets are standing up okay so you're probably going to want to find some place to put your camera maybe on a dresser or a bookshelf that that is about the same height as your head you don't want your camera to be coming at you from above or coming at you from down low because that looks kind of weird if possible make your camera eye level with you okay if it's possible to do that and you're standing up i think you'll have the best energy for filming your slam poem okay that's framing okay next is sound and this is also really important uh, bad sound can totally ruin a video if you if you do have an external microphone and you know how to use it that that will really help your sound but most of you i don't think are going to have microphones so what you need to do is find a nice quiet quiet place where you don't have noises going on that that can interfere with your recording so that can be hard if you're in a crowded house but think about the sounds in your house maybe there's like a washing machine a dishwasher an air conditioner something that's humming or buzzing that's going to mess up your sound try to find a nice quiet place and maybe a room that doesn't have a lot of echo and hard walls think about um like when you're in a, a gymnasium, for instance, like how the, the sound is really echoey and it, it's bouncing off of the hard floors and the hard walls. That's not a great place to record something like a, a slam poem because you're going to have a lot of like strange echo. So try, um, this is an exercise for you to try, okay? Go into different rooms in your house and notice the the sound. Talk in um Go into, say, your closet where maybe you've got a lot of, a lot of soft clothing and, and notice how the sound doesn't really echo too much there. That's a good place to record just audio. Um, but say you go into your garage or maybe your bathroom has a lot of hard walls and just see if you can really notice the difference between the sound that you record in different rooms because every room does have a different sound and figure out the sound that you like best for your, for your recording. That really will make a difference. All right, and now I want to talk about lighting. The basic rule with lighting is you want the light source to be behind the camera so that the light is shining on you. This, this as you can see, I'm recording right now with, during the day and there's kind of sunlight coming through the window. That creates a little bit of a lighting problem for me. So um, check out, like look into, your, look into your frame and figure out if, you're, if your face is dark then that's not you're not going to be able to communicate all these emotions that you're trying to communicate with your poem. So tr keep the shadows off of your face. Okay, maybe you'll decide that you want to film outside. That's not a bad idea, especially if uh, your house is crowded and you can't find any privacy there. Um, but if you film outside, you have to contend with uh, one, the sound. Like over here, there's a guy mowing a lawn that's kind of loud. It's probably going to make a humming sound on this recording and also the sun, which um, is gonna make shadows on your face depending on how you do it. So you don't wanna have the sun in your face because that'll make you squint like that. And you don't necessarily wanna have it behind you because that makes your face kind of in the shadows. So if you can, film in the shade. As you see, I'm in the shade here and uh, I don't have any of that harsh light in the shadows that you get in the sun. Be careful in the shade though because like if you're under a tree, and you get like this kind of light that's that's not good that then you've got some sunlight on you and some shade and it, it creates spots and stuff like that so look for a, a place with even light preferably completely in the shade um, and that your face is visible so that we can see you when you're talking so as another exercise why don't you try out different lighting situations in in your house or maybe outside try shooting yourself in, in with See if you can uh, have the light on you. Maybe try shooting with the light behind you and see how that looks, just so you can understand what it means uh, to, to have different lighting situations because then you'll understand. You know, For Hollywood movies, they spend hours and hours trying to get the lighting correct, and it's actually harder than you think to light something correctly because you don't want to have shadows anywhere on your face. That's why movie stars and everyone, they, they, really, they really take a long time to make sure that their lighting is correct because that affects how they look. 
So try that out. That's an exercise for you. Just just try shooting a little video in different lighting situations. Um, what looks better? Do you like fluorescent lights on you? Usually a fluorescent light will make your skin look a little paler. So maybe you want a nice warm light. The sunlight, do you like sunlight? Do you like it better in the shade? Um, figure out what is the best lighting situation for you and what do you like best. All right, and the final thing I want to talk about is you. The, think about the way that you look on camera, okay? Put on clothes that, that you are comfortable with, but also think about, like, do your clothes blend into whatever the background is and what you're shooting? So if you're wearing a black shirt and you're standing against a black wall or a white shirt against a white wall, that's going to look a little weird. You're not really going to be able to see your body, okay? So so think, give some thought to your background and what you're wearing because you want it to show up well on camera. You'd be surprised how many times that can mess up a nice recording. Uh, the other thing is just, and this is a really simple piece of advice that you probably heard from Slam Poets before, but before you record, take a nice deep breath. Really fill up your lungs with air. A lot of times when you're recording and when you're doing things, you, you run out of breath and you, because you're nervous and you're not taking breath. So make sure you take a nice deep breath and practice what you're doing. The great thing about recording video is that you can do it over and over again. Um, I think we're probably going to be doing these in one take. I don't want you to worry about trying to edit it with a whole bunch of different fancy cuts and things like that. We're, we're trying to record these slam poems in one take. So um, just take a deep breath, relax, and look into the camera, okay? With, if you've got a phone, figure out where that camera is because, like, the camera, it's it's right there, right? Like, use your finger and figure out where that camera is, and that's where you want your eyes to be looking. Practice doing that. That is what actors and newscasters and comedians and everyone learns. That's a learned skill, is to look into the camera with a calm gaze, okay? So practice doing that, looking right into the lens of your camera. All right, and what I want to do now is take a look at um, some videos that I found on YouTube. I just, uh, I just searched for a slam poem, okay? And I found a bunch of people uh, roughly your age who put um, recordings of themselves doing slam poems online. And I just want to, I'm not going to look at them for the content of the poems. I want to look at them for the way that they film them. And some, most of these are pretty good, but um, I want you to just see the different choices that are made. Um, so you can see what it looks like to put a slam poem online. So this is a poem I wrote when, about a year ago actually, and it's called Lies My Mother Told Me. And I'm using the book for this poem because I kind of get nervous and I kind of forget. So this is take one, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> when I was a kid, my mother told me that if I didn't let her pick out my lice, that would carry my scalp into the mountains. Okay, so I apologize. I'm going to just talk over this video because uh, we're not, I don't want to talk about the actual poem. I just want to talk about how it's recorded. So the first thing I want to say is that uh, I like that funky background, but um, the black hat and the black jacket that she's wearing kind of fade into that. So you can't, you can't quite tell w the difference between her herself and the background. So think about that when you're choosing your background and what you're wearing. The other thing is uh, when, when you start your poem, just start your poem. You, she does this kind of little preamble about what she's going to read and, and what version this is. And you, you don't need to t talk about that. Just, just start your poem right away. The sound is pretty good on this. Um, it's a little bit echoey. There may be some background noise. And, uh, but the framing is just right. It's perfect. The top of the frame is right on her head and, uh, and it starts at her chest. Suicide note. Tell my nephew I am sorry. Tell my sister I'm sorry she had to be the one to tell my nephew. Tell her I was afraid of her judgment. Okay, so this is clearly uh, a professionally done filming job, so it's a little different, but uh, I just wanted you to see how it's a, it's a lot more powerful. It's framed just right. Um, the background, of course, is is just black, but it's nice and simple. Um, he, his, his shirt really pops off the background. Um, he's not looking at the camera because that's not the way the shot is set up. Um, I think it would be even more powerful if he were looking at the camera. Um, 
but uh, I just wanted you to see this is this is a this is a nicely framed shot. Um, when you shoot your video, I think you should be looking at the camera, but you should use this framing and this uh, this the simple background as as some inspiration. You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was born to flourish. We were born to nourish. Even though when we do it, we're still that little bit nervous and okay, I'm gonna do this, but I need a second for a little breather. Okay, so this uh, poem, the framing's actually really good. Um, he had his friends do it. Um, but one thing I want you to notice is how how distracting all that noise is in the background. This is what happens when you record something uh, not in a quiet place. The camera picks all that up. So um, the framing's great. Uh, I like the background. The delivery's great. He's very relaxed and he looks right in the camera. But um, that background noise really uh, detracts from the recording. You keep telling yourself that you're ugly, how you can't possibly ever love yourself because every time you look in the mirror, you don't like what you see. The stretch marks, loose skin, gap between your front teeth. Okay, this is the last one we'll look at, but um, this woman, uh, I believe, is, is a well-known slam poet. She's got lots of views on her YouTube channel. And... Uh, as you can see, she just does these very simple presentations. She's looking right in the camera. Um, the camera is framed right at her eye level. Um, not, not a lot of head space. Um, it's filmed from the chest up. Um, th this is the kind of framing that you should be looking for. Um, she has uh, music in the background, which I don't think you should try to do for your slam poem. In fact, please don't do that. Uh, but, uh, look at the framing and look at, at uh, the way that she interacts with the camera for inspiration. Um, okay, good luck with your poems. I hope they, they come out well and that uh, your video recording is something that you're proud of. Thanks for watching.